Welcome guys to one more tutorial. On this tutorial we'll be creating a sticker batch lemonade logo. So let's start. Open an ellipse and open one more on top of the shape and drag it a bit down so the anchor points won't touch each other when we use the unite on the find. Alright, select them both and hit unite on the find. Now let's make these corners rounded. Now with the rectangle tool and the pathfinder, we will cut this lemon into half. Select them both and hit the minus front. Now open an ellipse. Alright, I will change the color to darker yellow or orange go to object path offset path set it to minus 40 percent all right to make this white again offset path minus 40 percent now open this tangle in the middle of the lips Copy it with Ctrl plus F and rotate it with holding shift. Again, copy it with Ctrl plus F and rotate. Let's select them all with holding shift and hit unite on double find. With the lines and the middle lips and hit the minus one. To make the middle circle a bit larger, now double click on it and with the direct selection tool, I will select these corners and make it a bit rounded. Also select the bottom corners as well, but this will be at only tiny rounded. We don't like to go too far with this. Now I will scale this piece so it can fit into the lemon head. Okay, I think the white part in the middle pieces are a bit off, so I will select them and scale it a bit down. I think it's perfect. Let's add the offset part into the top lemon shape. Make the top part darker. Right now, I will select everything and drag it down, hold it out so we can create a copy. Rotate it and squish it a bit so it can look a bit smaller from the top part. I think here I should uh, redo the stroke on the bottom part so it can be equal, but I felt too lazy, <laughs> so I decided to continue with this one. Now I will select the top lemon shape and hit trim on the pathfinder. Right click and hit ungroup. So what we have done here is separating the stroke from the fill. Or we can start adding some shadows and highlights. I will copy this shape with Ctrl plus C and pass that twice with Ctrl plus F. Now I will scale down the top copy a bit on the right. Make the top copy darker. Play around with it. And when you're done, select both and hit minus front on the pathfinder. Do the same for the bottom part. First, let's select it, trim, ungroup, and do a shadow as well. If you're struggling to do the shadows and highlights on this video, I suggest you watch the hot dog tutorial I made on YouTube. On that tutorial, I'll explain better in details how I do that. Now I will remove these extra shadows I do not need. And let's add highlights. For the highlights, I will choose the offset path to minus 20%. So drag it on the left with holding Alt so you can create a copy. Make this white. And again, play around. When you're done, select them both and hit the minus one. Move the extra highlights and do the same thing on the bottom shape. All right, now we will add some holes into the lemon to look more realistic. Just grab the ellipse and draw a rectangle. 
I will use the Unite on the Pathfinder so I can scale it and move it around easily. Sometimes it gets really buggy if I do not do that. All right, now let's type the text. <laughs> Lemonade. I hope I didn't spell this wrong. Now let's uh, expand the text. So it won't be a text, just shapes. Right click and ungroup it. Now with holding out, click on the Unite on the Pathfinder. And you should see a expand button. Hit on it. With this, we are basically doing a super group which you can't ungroup it and this is useful when adding effects now i'll add an offset path change it to dark green the text can be yellow and shrink it a bit all right now let's put some juice drops, open a list angle, go to effects, wrap, arch, make sure it's set on horizontal and put the horizontal line way on the left. Then press ok, go to object and expand the grids. Grab the direct selection tool and make this corner rounded. I will hit on the unite just in case it will put some effects on it. Now let's zoom in. I will change this color to orange, offset path, change this one to yellow, now control plus C, control plus F twice, make a highlights, alright, before we start copying, let's group it, scale it a bit, and place it around the logo, I will speed up this video, We'll just place the drops around the world. Now let's add some highlights into the text. Let's zoom in. Select the text, Ctrl plus C. I control plus F twice, put the top copy a bit down, and with holding shift, select them both and hit the minus front on the pathfinder and change the color to white. Let's make this more fresh and add some leaves on top of the logo. Open a ellipse, make this green, with holding out and shift to remove it on the right, select them both and hit trim on the pathfinder. Now we have the leaf shape. Place it on the lemon. All right, we will create one more copy. This one will be behind the lemon using the shortcut control plus left bracket to arrange it to back. Make the leaf who is behind darker green. And let's put some shadows and highlights into the leaves. I don't think here I need to explain what I'm doing. It's just copying and pasting. Basically, we are playing with the same shape to get to the perfect highlights and shadows. All right, now we will create the sticker effect. I will move the design so I can create more space for it. Select everything. Hit Control plus C, then Control plus B to paste it back. and hit Unite on the Pathfinder. Now let's do an offset path. Let's make it this bit larger. Again, hit Unite on the Pathfinder. Then right click and release Clipping Mask. Again, Unite on the Pathfinder. Let's make this white. 
and again control plus c control plus b now let's make this dark green okay i will make this more darker green go effect blur plus and blur play around with the settings okay this looks perfect for me now let's create a background just open a rectangle all over the artboard and send it to back i'll use the regular dark green background we have on our palette i think the shadow is too visual i'll change it to 70 percent all right perfect all right guys if you found this video useful hit that like button and if you're interested to see more tutorials like this one subscribe to my channel i wish you happy designing cheers